Yeah. She's got um, her some family staying and they're having a 91st birthday today, I think. Oh, that's nice. That's a good excuse to drop everything, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we imagine 91, dear, oh dear. Well, I, I that's, that's another 20 odd years on me. Ooh. And I make it like Lucky you. Day. I feel wow. like it. I feel horrible sometimes now. Yeah, my brother's 92. <laughs> yeah, he's really good. He walks every day because he's always done a lot of cycling. I don't think he does that, but he walks. He walks every day, a couple of miles. Looks really? after his wife. Yeah, yeah, he's really good. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. I think he still plays his saxophone. They used to go to... Um, uh, a pub in Dorchester, his little group is with. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Well done, him. Yeah. yeah. And well, I've got a brother in law, two brother in laws in their 90s as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> we just lost Peter's sister at Christmas. She was just 90. So, thank gosh. Yeah. You know, I'll be I'll be worn out time I get to that. Sorry, I have to keep <laughs> rushing on and off. I just um, you know, <laughs> it's just difficult at times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine, but I've already had him up once this morning. He's got restless legs because the care is not coming till about 20 to 11. I said, oh, please just go back to bed. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> oh, dear. So he settled down. You keep freezing, Carol. Oh, Is it I? just me? Yeah, no, it, it has for me as well. Just oh. for a second, not for long. Oh, I don't know why. No, it just sort of goes all juddery. Mm. What, just my Every picture? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, you, got... you are talking like this most of the time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I won't talk. <laughs> oh, music time. Yeah. Well, done. Hey, Paulie, you all right? Sorry. All right. Are you yeah, all right? yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, good, you? Good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just saying, just Anne and I were, were off in our caravans this afternoon, so we oh, won't be you? here for the next two weeks. Oh, we're right. going up the, the Hoi Polloi over at Kingston Moorwood. Oh, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's they're in the field, Brandon. So. <laughs> <laughs> not in the house, please take those boots You're off. Not in the house. <laughs> We've got a lovely view of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been in it. I've been you all around that house. You can yeah. sit and paint it, can't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really want to? You take a picture and we can do it. Oh, dear, don't, Pauline. <laughs> <laughs> just an idea. No reason you just why take, not. take one of your caravan, we can paint that. <laughs> Talking about caravans, Christine. Yes, Gordon. You asked a question. Yes, you can. Well, I don't know what time you're going to get there anyway, because we won't be there till five. Yes. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. So, I don't know what time you arrive. Yeah, five o'clock onwards, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. I thought you wanted to go a bit <laughs> earlier. If, if you're there, if you're there at half four, I don't know that. So. We'll just tell her not to put the legs down. Don't put your legs down. Don't don't park your van. Okay. No, I won't be there any earlier. Okay. I just, oh, I just I wanted to, to just wanted to get out of my road before everybody comes home from work. That was all because yeah. it yeah, gets yeah. jammed up. Okay. Yeah, it's up to you. Up to you. Okay. That's all. Okay. okay see you later. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't want to repeat of um, the time that I left and there was vans parked either side of the road and I couldn't get the caravan through. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. Yeah. I had to uh, 
had to do a lot of shuffling, shuffling and shunting and yeah. get, get hold of people to move the vans. Yeah, That's the trouble. They go, can... go anyone, just Sorry? Um, leave your legs up. <laughs> we, we don't understand that terminology. But <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm sure, sure it's something to do with caravans. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. all sorts of imaginings, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I don't very much. I'll be there before five, so don't worry. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the little steadies that are on each corner. Yeah. Otherwise, it'd tip up when you walk around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like, <laughs> it looks like our new girl's probably getting stuck with Zoom, I step. Oh dear. I did. I forgot to put um, a link on because there's a Zoom have a little link on their website where you can click it and it talk, takes you through setting up your computer and tests your oh. camera and everything. So she hasn't emailed. So I get my only guess is that that'll be the one that's. Um, getting the problem so mm. just bear me with a short i'm sure somewhere mm. on our on the um well maybe I'll, um, for the zoom dls to test try here it is the link copy i'll copy that Oh, hang on. Copy the link. Yeah, done that. I'm just going to send um, a quick email to say to say. Uh, Where are you? Well, no, just say <laughs> it's Lucy Pickett. Where does Lucy come from? I don't know anything about her. <coughs> All right. In that respect. Here's just in case, just in, right, just in case, here's a Zoom setup test page for <coughs> your system. It's on the um, on the little website. And I know because Terry could never get it right, and you know, and I found this link is in part of the Zoom thing, and it says um, comes up the little web page and says join meeting. So you click that, and then it comes up saying what's wrong, <laughs> why it can't oh, join the meeting. Right. So you need to install this. <laughs> click here to install the app. You haven't got your mm -hmm. canal. Your cameras, and I can, you know, it talked it through, right. yeah. set it all up. So if it worked for Terry, I reckon it could work for anyone. Have you heard from Terry lately? Or? I spoke to him <laughs> a couple of days ago. All right. Well, he spoke to me mostly. Right. <laughs> I like I'm a good listener. <laughs> um, yeah, he was. He seemed okay. Good. He's he's sort of a bit of a carer now, isn't he, for Margaret? Mm. Well, he can't. That's why he doesn't. He said I would come on the Tuesday mornings, but problem is, I'll have, if Margaret wants me, I'll have to stop, go and see Margaret. And uh, fair enough. Mm. So he's he's busy in that respect at the moment. <laughs> Poor thing. Mm. I yeah, well, I don't know. No, Sorry? I said there's no light at the end of the tunnel, and he said, No, nah, this is it. <laughs> yeah, problem. It's not really any better. So that's a bit of a bugbear for him. It's terrible, isn't it? You get old age, and you get all these things that you mm. have no control over, and you can't do much about, really. No. <laughs> 
Uh, Carol knows. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he looks so well now. I, well, no, I mean, not that I want anything to happen to him, but I just think, God, I'm going to be worn out if it goes on another five years or so. You just don't know, do you? Mm. Well, mm. Yeah. When he was diagnosed, the doctor said, oh, I'll give you 10 years plus. So we're coming into the eighth year now. So... <coughs> It, but Parkinson's doesn't, it doesn't kill you. It's no. it's like if you get an infection and you get pneumonia or you fall yeah. over and break your hip, you know, it's something else that comes along. But yeah. um, since they, yeah, so since they, he's been on the water tablets, yeah. I think his breathing's got better. So that's, you know, oh, that's helping good, that. Yeah. yeah. That's good, yeah. <laughs> right let's cheer ourselves up with some yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty pictures from last week That's good, isn't it? they're very good i haven't got round to it yeah I th that's carol she's she's a good girl she uses a board like like dave does <laughs> fix it all down there <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have a job on sticking it now, that blooming brown tape <laughs> stuff. Yeah, that's the one I put online. It looks really nice. I put mm. lovely, I thought, yeah. I've put thinner borders around them for the time. Mm. There's, there's I enjoy time. doing yeah. that one. Mm. Really nice. Not as easy as I make it look <laughs> doing the horizon line though, is it? No, I mine's a bit crooked. <laughs> yeah, I won't get to it. Well, you can fix it with a ruler and clean water. Yeah, I know. You know, I haven't got a very steady and... hand. I start it starts wobbling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's practice, isn't it? Yeah. And like I say, you don't move your don't move the wrist, you move your arm. Yeah. And it works. <laughs> right. And I and I found Using a one of those flat brushes works better. Mm. Using a round brush, it does have a, a tendency think, to. Yeah, I think I did use a flat brush and it went too flat, dark. To, yeah, never mind. I can fiddle with it later. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes mm. it goes so it, well, it, you think, "Well, oh, that was good. Do it again and muck it up." Mm. <laughs> Obviously, you think oh, I'm in the I'm in the groove, so you go like that. Think, wow, I'll do it. Do another, and then, oh no, spoiler. Uh, but yeah, well done. I like it. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Chrissy's got a wobbler. Oh, the paper. Good, yeah. You just stick it down. Crinkled Yeah. Oh. But it'd be a good, yeah. I I used to get mm. that a lot. Sorry, the what? Box you chose with, box. with acrylics. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nightmare. Yeah, you still got it? Black the is, as soon as I've done it, I take it off the board and then I take a photo of it and then I forget about it then for another week. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably not as, as bad now as it was then when I took the photo. You know, it has yeah, dried so, up. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was interesting to do the um the the water it i couldn't seem to get the color right it went very very dark and then it was going oh i don't know anyway i think it was hard to get the gauge of the rock the big one because i did it first i thought, oh gosh that's too big so i yeah i was a bit like that yeah, yeah that that mid-tone that mid-ground water that the sea bit i think mm -hmm. I, I actually went over mine with a bit of white in the end because I, I the next day I looked at it. Do you know what? That's looking. It's much yeah. lighter than it on the photo than it, than I first thought. It's funny that, isn't it? One day your eyes look at something one way, and the next day you think, "Oh, hang on, that ain't right." Mm -hmm. Not yeah. that on the head. Yeah, it's, it's not bad though. Not yeah. your sand knife. I found that hard to get yeah. the whitey colour. Well, I just put flesh on it. I don't know if that was right. <laughs> I bought another um, another tree with acrylic. I don't know whether it's. I haven't tried it yet. It's called Buff, 
Yeah, that'll do. I've yeah. used that. That's sand. Oh, well, that looks good mm. for sand. Yeah. Yeah. I used to yeah. use buff. Yeah. I think I had it. Yeah, because it's quite a difficult colour to mix, isn't it? I don't know, all them mm. all those box of paints, there might be a buff in it that I bunged you with. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Who's is that? Pauline's. No, yeah, that's not mine. Oh, who's is, is that? that? It was mine. Dave, oh, yeah. Sure. yeah, I wish that was mine. <laughs> See what I was on about though, that I changed, I lightened up the, the background, the, the water yeah. from yeah. last week. The only reason there's some of mine on there because I I redid parts of my one of the websites and started putting all these up for sale, you know. Mm. All right. That was Pauline's. Yeah. Good. I didn't like the rock. I couldn't get them right. They were quite hard, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They were. <laughs> yeah. I must admit it was the last thing I did. And um yeah. <laughs> yeah, they I mean hmm. it's a it's a balance, isn't it, between water well for a watercolours it's like a balance and between the the water and the colour so you can mm. sort of lift bits off. Mm. That's the ideal if you can get away with it. It's like say it's to scratch a bit off and get the colour underneath to come back through. Mm. Always works well that. But these rocks didn't seem to have that. They felt they didn't. They felt more sandy color, and then with mm. moldy old dough on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I've been doing is putting them all in Photoshop, and just getting the the color balance, you know, mm. tweaked right, so that they look really nice. Yeah. Yeah. To go like from mm. well, <laughs> just tidies them up a bit. I, look at mine. I don't know what's right and what's wrong myself. This week we're on what was it? We're on Harlech Castle. I don't know what it is about castles. Seem to <laughs> like <seem> those. To... <laughs> <laughs> and trees <laughs> again. <laughs> Who froze? I said trees again. Oh, you, you! I thought you said freeze. Sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, the old tree. Yeah, look at. Oh, hang on, I'm going to share. that You've got to have a look at this lot. Oh. Oh, hang on. Share screen. Where is it? Hang on. It's not going down here. Hang on. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dave, what are you doing? Oh, I know why. Oh, no, 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 we can go. <clears throat> Got so many different screens up here. Oh, it's there now. Oh, there's, mm. Share. Yeah, there's a bit of green in this one, Pauline. I oh, know. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> oh, <no. clears throat> The more, the more we look at it, the more the worse, it, the harder it gets. But the colour is slightly changed as well, depending which photo I look at. That's a big one I did. That must be like mountains in the background, really, isn't it? Mm. Hardly. They, I put down hills, but they're flipping big hills. What a shame that I'm away for two weeks. Oh, oh no, aren't you lucky? Can I come <laughs> with? Can I come with you, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I've got no internet connection down there, but hey. <laughs> oh dear. I'll have a chat with the people in the office <laughs> at the castle, at the house. Oh. I'm sure we can sort something out. Oh. You never will. <laughs> cool what oh that's a shame Lucy hasn't made it in has she mm -hmm. well I'm sure I'll, I'll hear something about it 
Or did you tell her that the actual lesson started at 11, perhaps? Or? I don't know. Learning. No, I'm no, just thinking just... we always, we always seem to chat for half an hour, don't we, and then crack Sometimes. on. Mm. It's all meaningful though. Yeah, mostly. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's no um, there's no restriction to getting in. So if she comes in, she joins us. She joins us. But I'll send her the video link anyway. Yeah. So that's something else I might. If we get more people, but at the moment it's just us. So I, I just give it give the link out and it's it's public. But. Mm. If we get a lot of people, then I can't do that. I'll have to make it private. Yeah. So the only people that can look at the videos are the ones that come to the event. Mm -hmm. You've got to be careful as well because you, you're getting into um, general data protection data and all that, isn't it? Right. But only in the respect that somebody might say something top secret that gets someone killed or something oh, <laughs> oh, wow. I, don't know. I mean mi5 could be watching right now <laughs> i'm sure they'd be interested <laughs> well gchq are probably monitoring every word we say <laughs> yeah that's it no more talking so stick your fingers up Mm. <laughs> oh, that's not very ladylike, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. We could be in for a, an early lunch. Oh, it'd be very handy because we've got lots to do, and Anne's got to go early. So get on with it. Yeah. I'm gonna go early. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well. Practice, practice makes perfect. Huh. Might go down a bit, I think. Yep. Wished it that way. Palettes exactly the same as ever. I've even started to remember some of the colours I've put in here. <laughs> Mocha, that one. Ooh. It's the um, St. Petersburg ones, isn't it? Yeah, Mocha. Don't know what the yellow is. That's peach with some. That's June, and mm. that's the flesh. They're all pretty lovely, and that it that was the um, cobalt turquoise, which I like. Mm. Yeah, I got well, some of that. Mm. The natural. Yeah, I have as well. The way your um. The way you work sort of evolves and changes all the time. I'd never, if someone has said to me a few years ago, you're going to be focusing a lot on using cobalt turquoise a lot. I just sort of, you're on, you, what have you been taking, you know? Sky, we'll start with a sky, shall us? Mm -hmm. Chrissy wants an early lunch, let's go for it. <laughs> I've penciled the castle in, so usual madness, isn't it? Clean water. I'm just thinking, shall I go over the tops of the castle or not? Oh, go on. At least I can mop it up, can't I, as I go along? The only thing about that sometimes, I see uh, Charlie Evans sometimes watch some of his because I subscribe to his YouTube account, so I'll get a notification that he's posted a new watercolour or a new video. And he does it, pencils, and he goes over it. I don't... These pencils must be nicer than mine, because my sometimes I go over it and it smudges my pencil. Mm. Or, or mucks it up. Well, I've dampened it. That's a start. Colour-wise, as I say... Oh, hang on. I've got a wipe that out so that's my blue patch 
<laughs> that's the other thing that evolves over the time, isn't it? It's the way you're where you put your 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 paint in the palette. So anyway, there's a bit of that turquoise blue and add a bit of cobalt to it. I think. See what comes up. For initial initial wash. I'm gonna muck this up, I know it. But I wanted I didn't want a really dark sky. I wanted a nice I think I said on my thing, it'd be nice to get it to look like a an old, oldie worldy. Oh, look at that. It's a flipping air. If I tell the people at Rosemary and Co that the hairs come out of their brushes, they get quite indignant. Hello. Good come on in. Hello. Hello. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. So anyway, there's a... Hang on, just let me just move because I'm in a Zoom meeting. Right, I'm out now. Yes, hello. It's unusual for me. I'm actually scrubbing the painting. But what I want to do is add a little bit of burnt sienna. That hair, you get hair and you, it follows you around, doesn't it? It's just turned up over in my palette now. So yeah, there's a. I want to make it grayer. Blue. Same blues and a little bit of burnt sienna should give it a, a more of a gray tone. Mm hmm. But I wanted it. I don't know. I've got this thing in my. You know, you see those watercolours on someone's wall, you go in a house and they look like they come from the 1800s or something. Mm. I wanted that kind of faded outlook. Whether I'm going to achieve that, I very much doubt. But watch your heels. There's three stages, main ones. Well, sorry, excuse me. I've got to go. One of our friends has just passed away. So, oh, okay. Okay, okay, cheers. Bye. Bye. Oh, dear. oh dear, I wonder who that is. Gosh almighty. Mm. Mm. I wonder who that can be. I know an awful lot of Anne's friends. Yeah. Yeah. All happening today. Yeah. Right. I think I might mix up a little bit more of that. grayish colour. You can use cerulean blue if you haven't got the turquoise. Make a bit of a darker. I don't know why. Go for a bit of drama. And it's right starts just here, doesn't it? Gonna have to lift some of this off in a minute. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? Someone. Oh. Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. Just when you were having fun. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. <laughs> I did write a letter, no, it wasn't a letter, it was an email to the um, the councillor for the area where I walk the dog. Because mm. I, I litter pick while I'm out walking the dog. Because yeah. it makes sense, it's a sensible thing to do. It makes, makes the walk more interesting as well. Yeah. And I'm walking right past the bin and I've got a dog doggy bag in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I use that to pick it up. So I'm not actually touching anything horrible. I've got to find a flat brush. 
the lift off similar paint. Yeah, so but the um the, the, the litter bins that the council use, they somebody very cleverly thought up the idea you can put like vertical straps in the opening. Vertical like could be, it looks like plastic, but they're not, they're like nylon straps. Mm. And that makes it near on uh, not impossible, to, but it makes it really difficult for the goals to get in and oh, I see. get the stuff. Uh, yeah. And the, the one place, 90% of the rubbish over at Mudderford Rec, Recreation Ground, comes from the one bin that is directly opposite the chip shop. Oh, yeah. Because people, <laughs> people put their rubbish bags, well, not all of them, but most people do they put their rubbish bags in the bin and the goals i've watched them do it mm. the opening is about well not far off the size of this bit of paper you know sort of that you put your hand in and it hasn't got any straps coming down and the goals they'll sit on the lip of it <laughs> and they bend down and they can get right in it's it's mm. fascinating to watch but it's not very pleasant the mess that they make i mean the reason i go there because it is nice you know it's a nice pleasant all i'm doing here is using the brush a flat brush just to lift out some highlights in the sky sounds like a key for a song <laughs> i know that was ghost riders wasn't it yeah, we, where's Lucy? Is she in the sky with her diamonds? Lucy. <laughs> well, if you're watching this back, Lucy, we miss you. We miss. <laughs> we'll sort you out. <laughs> well, she can always come to the next one. I'll send it. To, I can send the link and that. Can I? I think mm -hmm. I need a bit less there yeah well oh, i said i wanted um because that's going to really fade back i haven't made it over dark you just it's a really good way of doing it you can just use a damp brush use brush and a bit of tissue and just lift off any highlights you want. And because paper's still wet, everything's still moving around and doing its mm. bit. I think I could have made a bit of a darker area just here. I think I might have a bit of that paint left in my brush. It's the... Um, try and make it look interesting. Fair enough, you can always lift a bit off of somewhere else, like the side. So it's always... no, it's not bad, not a bad mix of colour for a sky that. So it's the turquoise cobalt blue and a little bit of cobalt blue. What's the other colour? Ultramarine that I mix up together on the palette but in the in the well yeah that's pretty good now the next bit is continue that color I think brushes I keep going underneath the forward apart from the ones last week do you recall well you probably don't I've spent ages looking for a brush and it was in the end <laughs> okay. I had, I had the, the palette was down on the ground and in my hand I had like three or four brushes different size rigor like you do so that's a little bit of that blue I'm sticking with the same mix which is that light blue cobalt blue and a little bit of burnt sienna to make it go yucky dar 
Get it? Welsh camp. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Yucky da. And um, because there's hills here, and there's mountain things. So should be able to steam those in. Line of colour, bit of clean water, soften it down. And it goes right down into the into the valley. Boy all. What was I watching the other day? It was a comedian. And um he was he had exactly the same thing that I do. He was <laughs> imitating a not, imitating a Welsh accent and part way through he suddenly turned into a Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's really weird. You try it. Well, obviously, you don't do it in public, but try it on your own. <laughs> you start off like, oh, all right, then, and that, yes. And all of a sudden, it goes, oh, blame me, my well. Oh, goodness gracious me. And you end up being a Pakistani for a minute. I don't know who it was. It was somebody famous. I thought that was, it's quite true, that. The only thing I think when you do yours, <laughs> is to put a little bit of raw sienna in the background first. I'm dropping it in now, but on those hill things. Just think it needs a little. Chris, we're nearly finished. Mm. <laughs> well, I was thinking more of Anne, but she's left early, earlier than ever. So. Yeah. Cool, it's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Best not, I'm not going to dwell on it because it's just horrible. Mm. While it's damp, I'm just dropping in a bit of extra dark. You just got to, it's up to you how, how dark you want it. The, the hills and the shape. It's all that sort of. I don't think I'm going to get that mistiness that I really crave for. Never mind. Lovely jubbly. Sorry. <laughs> don't know if I should have done that. Just thought I had a little bit of light. No, maybe not. What are we going to do about that? Yeah. Have a chat with the paint police. Mm -hmm. Just dab it off with that tissue again. Might come up with a nice. I I did it last week. I um, is it on that bass rock? Yeah. I noticed when it dried, there was an area where the paint had carried on moving down the paper. And it was really lovely. It looked like a, I'll show you later, a sort of anomaly in the sky, like you get those things, don't you think, oh, nice. what the heck's that? I'm hoping that will dry back nice. Should do. Because the painting's sort of about, wearing brushes, I think. Painting's sort of about, um, Gauging distance, you know, the sky's there, the backgrounds try and move things around. Castle, Harlick Castle. How are you going to paint that? Who oh, knows? No idea. I had a rough idea. I think it'll come in useful. Yeah, I did have a rough idea. <clears throat> there's loads of different well there's a few different ways of recommended ways of doing buildings um i've tried several of them and i'm i don't know i i, I can't make up my mind if, if there was a distinctive easy way 
you know, I do it every time, but I can't for the life of me. I, I can't make up my mind. I do it the guaranteed way. And then when I look back, I think now nah, that's the other way I did it. I did a few on here last night and I thought, I don't know. And it's deep because it's always blue and burned sienna. And then some other colours dropped in. But which way you do it and which order you do it in does make a difference. Can't make up my mind. So I'm just going to see what happens here. Really. I need to make it a bit drier around here. I don't want the sky to Oh, you sat with me, wasn't you? Sorry, dog, I didn't come back, did I? Sorry, you took the baby there. Come on, darling, let's go and maybe I'll walk down the drive. Is at some point it's okay looking at these reference images, but at some point you've got to say, Well, copyers do that, I'm going to do it my way because <coughs> the end is <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I face the final curtain, sort of not quite as bad as that. I'm going to just sit down for a minute. Uh, clean water on a brush. Watch. I don't really want to make the sky. Don't want it to blend into the sky. Really. Just don't want to look where the castle walls are. Or the trees. Or the foliage line. I haven't really painted any trees. I've just put a line. A bit there and there. I'm using really absorbent paper as well, so it's so two rivers meet from Jackson's, which is great paper. But I think in future, I use this one's about the heaviest you can get. It's really heavy, you don't really need to stretch it as such. But I think in future, I was thinking the other day when I was, I think, why do we buy the the really thick stuff and then stretch it you might as well buy the thinner stuff which is slightly cheaper and then stretch that i'm just trying to pick out the um the lighter bits of the building so i can find them yeah i don't know if they're still around there doesn't know how to switch it off <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dave. Oh, yeah. Bad news on your yeah. part. Yeah, sad. Very sad. Kind of expected, but still sad. Mm. Had a... Awful. Yeah, buildings, that's what I was saying. What do we do? What do we do? There's so many different... I'll try... This one, I'm trying to make it so that it's da 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 da. -da. Well, what with the um, this is sand, dune, flesh, not flesh. Sorry, sand. I've made it the castle, the buildings damp, so I'm just dropping in. This brush is nice because it's got a nice fine point on it. Shout if it disappears again, but it should be all right. All the made it wet, and I'm just dropping in the um, St. Peter's oh, Berg version is called June. Sparing me whack a load of that on. Just gonna go. Just worry about the castle for a minute. I've actually got a written down list of 
I might put it on the website or I'll send it in a letter. This, you start off with the sand, which is what that is. Then um, get a smaller brush. Or you could use the same one, don't matter. I haven't got any raw um, yellow ochre, but I've got raw sienna. So while it's all damp, just drop in. Postman's late. Somebody at the door. I was going to say, can't be my dog because um, Melanie's just gone out. So anyway, that's um, a little bit damp. So that was pretty yellow ochre. Touch a, touch a light red, which I haven't got. But if you've got light red, it's quite a nice colour. Just mix in a little bit of red to the um, yellow ochre. I'm using the side of my paper as, as a mm. palette. But just drop in some uh, light red. I need a bit more red, really. Oops. Just drop in that. This is a technique that a lot of people use. Okay. So be wrong of me not sh to share it. Uh, the next colour, drop in a little bit of raw umber. I haven't got that either. So <laughs> a bit of burnt sienna and burnt umber together should give me a sort of a light brown in it. Just drop that in here and there. Hopefully this will come together in a minute. Now, if you've got a darker side, let's add a little bit of blue to that. Got, not quite raw amber, but if you've got a darker side, add a few extra, a bit more, a few extra bits to the darker side of the building. We haven't got that, but we have got these <coughs> shady bits in here. Looking at the reference picture briefly. So I'll just drop them in. A few autumn socks. Maybe down there. Definitely in there. And touch of cobalt. If you've got any cobalt blue, uh, must have hydrated my paint wells last night because I've a few drops of this in. Sorry about that. I'm back again. Looks quite arty farty, doesn't it? When it <laughs> Chrissy's had a postman bin. And. No. It was my, my friend from down the road. She um, was supposed to be having a cataract operation this morning. She got all the way there, her daughter took her, and they they didn't do it because the operating theatre was too hot. I said, what? Wow, <laughs> what? It was too hot. It was too hot to do the operation. So wow. whether the air conditioning or something wasn't working, or I don't know. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah. yeah. She was, I'd have just what? said, oh, don't worry, I'll go and get a fan. Yeah, no idea what. Oh, you anyway. got to keep the air. Yeah, because when I, I had my, yeah, when I had my knee done, I went in, I wasn't put out before I went into the operating theatre. It was really, really cold. And I think it's to do with germs. It yeah. probably, yeah. <clears throat> Anyway. I was surprised how cold it was. I thought, oh, gosh, I don't know how they work in it, really. You can just, Dave, you just, Dave. just gently mix it. <laughs> it's not listening. <laughs> Dave wants to... Just I mean... go in, David. Well, then. I'm signing off for Anne, okay? Okay. We just right. See you later. Have, 
And Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Yeah, once you've put all those colours on like that, if you get um, a flat brush and just gently blend them in. Mm, very effective. Well, it is one of the sort of ways to do buildings, the stone on buildings. It's not the end of it, but no. I wanted it to look. Dirty duh, looks like I've succeeded. Something like that. Um, the extra, the next bit that I was that I've left is the um, the other bits of the wall down the bottom. I thought they looked a bit more of a yellowy, fleshy tone. So I'm just going to add, just use my I've got seagulls out the front here going ballistic. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear. It started with your dog on the post. Oh. I don't know. Oh, it's a matter of the flipping things. Anyway, mm. yeah, this I'm just using a bit of flesh where I can see um, light bits here and there. And this, this sort of dries back. It, it's beauty of watercolour, isn't it? Or well, one of the it's a, it's a plus and a minus really because sometimes it works sort of works in your favour, and other times it's not quite so obvious. It's just a little bit of from the brush away now. A bit more of that sand colour here and there. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong with them cards. Strange. We get a lot because of the um, waterworks. It isn't far away. And they're, they're so noisy. Well, it's because there's a baby one out there. Ah. Uh, there was, I think somebody was on about it the other day. There's a what do I do? There's a mm. baby gull walking around my garden. It's sort of just leave it alone. Parents would come and get it, or a rat will, one or the other. <laughs> we had we used to have them. We had we had them here all the time. They would get a little brood of two or two or three. Two are usually two, I think, and they'd mm. be up on the roof and they'd fall off. They'd try to fly, fledge, and they'd land on the, someone's garden. Mm -hmm. And they spend like two or three days just wandering around somebody's front garden, squawking, and the, the other ones come down and feed it. Mm. But, um, which is nice. And they keep an eye on it. And I was there thinking, I must have told you that I, th I thought that ain't going to last long. The, the cat's going to come, come out and have that thing. There's loads of cats around you. But it didn't. The yeah. cats just never went near it. Mm -hmm. well, oh. When they're when down on the ground, stood up, they're bigger than they look. The cats yeah. are sort of looking at it thinking, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. People <laughs> will leave it alone, you know? Mm. Anyway, this has dried off a bit, so I'm going to add a little bit of raw sienna in here. Uh, hello. Yeah, raw sienna. Just a touch. So you say every week you always end up with a a sort of a theme colour. This week it's the um cobalt blue. Tur cobalt turquoise blue with the raw sienna attached to it. Because that's giving the that sort of lovely, how green's my valley grey tone. It's lovely. Hey, big spender. Where's it gone? Oh, it's over there. 
Right. Once you get it going, I'm just going to put an extra bit on there because I think it needs it. We've got some dry, dry brush work to do in a minute. I'm just letting the flipping water run out. It's either too much or not enough. It's sort of sitting there. All I'm doing is I've mixed up a bit more of the that sort of shadowy grey tone. Just wanted to drop a bit into the top of the hill where it's slightly darker. I think it is. Because if there are trees up there, but the, you can't, you know they're there, but they're blended in with the sky colour. And don't want to get rid of all that raw sienna I put down, just put a little bit of that colour on top of it. Pretend you're doing trees. How green is my valley? Oh, blame me already. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, rigor time. While we've got that lovely mix, I've actually penciled in some of the windows. I'm just going to drop some in. I spent, as usual, Monday uh, 10, 15 minutes sat in front of the computer with the zoom on, you know, zoomed into the image. Good, good colour, that. Now it's just a matter of, everybody wants an early lunch, Dave. Yeah, I know. Um, mm -hmm. Just a matter of looking for shadowy bits. The usual thing. As I say, there's a distinct process to this picture. Once you've got it, just whack in some of the shadows, but I don't. Just paint what you see. Fortunately, it's still still a bit damp. So, as I put paint on, it runs a bit. The last castle we did was um, Whittington, wasn't it? Up, up in mm. yeah. that's Osri Shrewsbury way. Up that way, it was um, Pete Williamson. One of his pictures he put up online. My thought would make a nice subject. Well, next week is Bond. James Bond. Mm. Well, it's for some people they they got out of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the if you like sort of boring bit really for because there's no got to wait until you get sufficient paint on your brush to just, this is dry, yeah? And you can just squish it around and it will give you some bricks. Because if anyone thinks for one minute I'm going to sit here painting in hundreds of bricks. They are, ain't going to happen. I'm not sure what happened with that bit there. It's sort of not right. Oh, yeah. I pushed, I put a bit of shadow on the side, so I'm just going to push it across gently. Rigor time, isn't it? So that's what it is. You put the colour down the shadow side and then slowly push it across and that gives it that um, round fill because they are only cylinders aren't they these 
castle things need a bit more of that color actually it's the theme color today is turquoise cobalt a little bit of ordinary cobalt and a dollop of burnt sienna really what i'm saying is the um the thing to do is what when you paint yours is whatever color you, colors you use on the sky whichever two blues or blue and a burnt sienna or whatever it is use those um further down the line to mix up your um shadowy tone for the castle just stop me in and some wet paint And uh, you won't go far wrong. I think I've done that wrong. <laughs> you won't go far wrong, and I just did it wrong. <laughs> is there a wrong? There is no wrong. Well, apart from that bit. Get that stiff brush. It's just gone under the blue. Looking not too bad. What it was was the um, what it is. I've put too much shadow down one side. Just lift a bit off. So such a clever way of painting now. I do it all the time now. I've always got tissue in one hand, and then I can do that lift paint off in with really easy. Putting brushes down on these and but that's not. Yeah, right. That's cool. Well, you get the drift. Gist. And the same with these few tissues. Few tissues. I've got tissue on the brain. Shadows on those portcullis things. The um the windows are actually a lot darker than. I've made them there. Burnt umber, my usual. Burnt umber and blue gives us that extra dark, dark. Just drop a bit in here and there. It's at the top of that one, isn't it? Lovely job, blue. Boy, oh. The foils. I spent a few days transposing videos that we took. We always used to have holidays in Welsh Wells. Mm. The kids were growing up. I used to go and rent a farm cottage in sort of mid mid to North Wales. Let the kids run riot down a Welsh valley for a week or so. It was about this time of year. Well, actually, first usually first week in September, because having five kids, we were so poor we couldn't do it during things. So we used to just take them out of school for a few for a week. The first week, the little, the little Harveys were famous for not going to school the first mm -hmm. week. <laughs> so anyway, we could afford to take them away. It's ridiculous it, how expensive it is now, isn't it? For, yeah. Um, holidays. I do feel sorry. I think well, that was one of the reasons. The other reason was it was quieter. Yeah. All the rides for the kids and that there weren't so many children around, so they could actually have, enjoy it more. But if you if you can get a while you're painting, talking of painting, if you just squish your rigor on a bit of clean paper, you'll see it will go dry and you can just drag it across the paper very lightly and you'll find you can get a few bricks. And you can always, if you, if you, you everyone's picture will be you can always accentuate one or two with some of the really dark paint and it sort of gives it a lot of 
it, what I mean. So, so the process is clean your rigger off, get a bit of that whatever colour it is. I'm not really calling it colour. It's sort of an off colour and it's grey. See, it works on there straight away. And just gently rub, rub your brush across and look for shadowy bits. Try and pick out some of the shadows more than the, the non-shadows. Drop it in and lift it across. Works really well. When you can easily just do it on a side bit of paper and off we go. But we can spend, I've been days doing this, but depends how detailed and how fussy and finicky you want to be. Me, I'm not. But what I am going to do is get a fan brush and have a bit of fun. Well, why not? Get a bit more of that flesh tone and put it in amongst the foliage. Because I don't know about you, I think it might be the time of year, but it seems to be when this reference image was taken, that there was loads of browning going over trees. Unless it's bits of rock that I can't visualise. Bits of castle even. Could be, couldn't it? So mm. I'll dab some of that in. Right, let's mix up a bit of green. Shall us? What do we want? Um, I think I'd better get rid of that. We'll just clean it up a little bit. It's a dirty tissue here. So, should we start Hooker's Green? Ooh, that's bright. Ooh. A little bit of yellow to it. A bit more yellow. A bit more yellow. And a hint of blue. Should get a, an olive colour, olive colour. That's a bit of raw sienna first. I've mixed up some green, a bit of raw sienna. Where I'm going to put some, well, should really start it out next to the castle. Just missing the flesh and drop in some of this green stuff. Maybe a little bit more, you know, I want it to be brighter up here. Lovely jubbly. Make it look so easy. Mm. Very horrible. Look very what? I said you make it look easy. Oh, for... oh. so many of them. It is it take the using the fan fan brush takes a lot of the oomph out of it though. Add a bit more. It's just a matter of playing with the the green and the, the sort of hooker's green on its own is flipping awful. But once you add blue, yellow, raw sienna and any other colour to it, suddenly the whole, I think... That was what it was designed to do, apparently. It was designed that way. Because yeah. ordinarily you think, why would anybody invent a green that, that is that ridiculous mm. that you can hardly use it? 
But if you add, if you add raw sienna into the green, that was that was that green a minute ago. Adding yeah. a bit of raw sienna to it, it turns it into an olive green, which I notice some of these, uh, sort of a an olivey green blended in. I think the where you see any gaps in the other greens, drop in some of that olive green. It's a nice colour, actually, olive green. I'm, I was only thinking about it the other night. The, um, one of the books I used to read, I can't remember the guy's name now. I've got it next to me over there. Um, it was an old building. It was a book on painting. Oh, Taylor is surname. That's good memory, Dave. Well done. Yeah, his surname's Taylor. And it's how to paint buildings. And one of the, the very first exercise in the book is using olive green, which is, as I say, is hooker's green with some raw sienna in it. Goes sort of an olive colour. Just drop it in. And there's some on the top of those. And that's the fiddly bit, using the edge of a, just the corner of a fan brush. I think it must be green up here somewhere. There is now. I find it quite therapeutic, actually, mucking about with these fan brushes. Because Yeah, they're fun, aren't they? Get some nice effects with them. Well, to my mind, it just is a good way of using up rubbish out of your palette. There was a load of purple muck there. So I've just added that. God. Well, you can spend ages deciding on where to, where to put dark bits and light bits. This is only a small painting, by the way. It's not, I've not done a a big canvas, uh, you know, quarter sheet of paper like I sometimes do on a Tuesday. I think I'm not going to go too mad with that. Get a sharp edge. There's a thing on here, I think I might be able to scratch in a few twigs. I know it's on the there's just a few, isn't there? Branches sticking out. Less than that, even. Makes a nice noise. Well, it just gives it a, a feel that there's something going on, doesn't it? Once you've done mm. that, of course, where you find there's nothing stopping you. from adding a little bit of extra dark. If I can get really dark, a bit more blue onto the... So that little bit of hook, that hooker screen goes a long way. And the variations of colours that you can get from it. I think all those years are flipping wasted. You just throw it away or give it away. Look at green. Chrissy, give me a load of paints. Add look at green. I'll never use that. I remember thinking at the time. And now, no, there you go. How much yeah. time was wasted? That's all right. I'm happy with that. I could. You could. Um, if you're into it, get a brush. Uh, Paintbrush. I've got one. There's one there. And use a bit of card, bit of paper. Old t shirt. We've got a t shirt here that needs washing. No, no, no. Not really. <laughs> well, no, I was just thinking you can, to make a, a doodah, protect the castle. Bit of cloth's a good way of doing it. I've got these bits of tissue, I'll put those on. 
da, 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 just around there. And perhaps uh, just an idea I had a few seconds ago, but give it a go, was to mix up some dark. So I've got dark green, well, the hooker's green, put a bit of burnt umber in it, maybe a hint of blue. And spatter it. Spatter all over the foliage. Makes it look like there's lots of leaves, doesn't it? Never seen me do that before. Because <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> well, no, I was looking at it. I was thinking, how can I get that? See what I mean? You get that sort of speckly bit. You can do yours a bit more. Uh, yeah precise perhaps however you want it and that's not far off where we're going to get i think apart from um let me see just to, let me think maybe a little bit more what's that lovely color i was mixing up earlier add a little bit of red to it there's a little bit there from last week, I don't know what colour it is. I can just see. I don't know. Over this side, a hint of more. Uh, of red tone in it. That's better. I'm happier with that. And along there as well. It's just a subtle, well, maybe not so subtle. A bit more. Can always tissue a bit off. Blend it in. Get your rigor back involved. Yeah, that'd do. How green is my valley? How's it look on the tea lot, do you think? Am I anywhere close? I've got a fairly good feeling about it. Have the um, distant hills not far away from where your brush was then? They yeah. bleed a bit into the sky there. They have. You're right. I no. noticed. It, I noticed it earlier, and I thought, well, I can't do much about that. No. Okay. So when it's yeah, it's bled there and there. Yeah. Um, and it's really annoying. I noticed <laughs> it. I've been looking at it for about the last hour, thinking uh -huh. it ain't going to get away with me. Um, but. Think it'll be a question of when it's bone dry, when it's drier tomorrow. Yeah. Rub it, just rub it out a bit. Well spotted there, Chris. Well, I like leaving these deliberate <laughs> things in to see if mm. anyone notices it. But yeah. There you go. But sometimes I like it because it shows because you have to fix it sort of live mm. which isn't which is really what people want to see when they're watching these things isn't it they say mm. how do i fix that you know hmm. quite like that and there's a but the fan brush how many times have i said it when we've been doing foliage or to me so it's the savior mm. it saves mm -hmm. the saves the paint because you can't actually see or tell exactly what's going on in these pictures you know when it comes to foliage and leaves and that but i think i was right right from the start to put down um 
the flesh tone use a bit of flesh here and there and the thing about that flesh is i'll do it now it lightens any color mm. the sand as well the sand and the flesh it lightens it doesn't take any prisoners if you've got a, an area like say bit i just made red if you've got an area that you want to lighten just use a bit of sand on it and it lightens any color takes it takes it you know knocks it back not sure if it will do it on the <coughs> on the distant hill valley thing which i'm gonna have to wait until it dries off properly it's always the trouble with these tuesday mornings if there is one but that's just the way i paint as well that i like to do the it's nice doing this groundwork now, but it's lovely tomorrow morning when I, or, you know, you look at it again, you think, aha, this needs, what's it? A little bit of white in the rigor. Cool, that was precarious. Try not to stick your hand in all of the colours. Think triangle. Maybe you'll get a flag. It's a good opportunity, isn't it? The flag to put a little bit of warmth in the picture. I think that one's a bit short, but there you go. Still got that purpley red colour from last week. I can drop a bit in. It will dry back. How green is my valley? Drop a bit in there. I've got pencil marks on at the moment as well, which looking at it for me is um, making the picture look a bit not weird but less interesting than it should be but you can now as we've done all the ground work spend as long as you want adding darker bits shadows and teasing in extra stuff. <laughs> Can always use a what do you call it? Some color watercolor pencils as well. It's bone dry. Just to lift a few bits off or tighten it up. Such a personal. What's that, that bit there? I don't particularly like. Just lift a bit a little. Hmm. Oh, that was the bit I like that bit. No good. Lovely job, Leah. It's all right. Put a little bit of foliage there. It's a line, I've drawn a pencil line there, so that must have been for foliage. I'm just using the brush to stiffen those bits down. It's that dark green, just put it at the bottom. With the, any greens that are there, try and find some sort of. There's a bit there, and then right in there, just tease out some. Lovely jubbly. When are you going to Kingston Moorwood, Chrissy? 
this afternoon. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're um, me, Anne and Gordon, and another friend. We um, we're stewarding the meat. It actually opens on Thursday, oh, but right. we go down tonight to put all the signs out, the direction signs, and um, and then we spend tomorrow marking the field out and um, getting all, getting ourselves ready for the uh, arrivals on Thursday. Brilliant. Twelve o'clock. Must be and such a relief after. <laughs> Those bloody COVID years. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. like not so nice then, was it? No, no. Well, this is the first year the um, Dorset County Show's been on for a while because of COVID. So um, that's next weekend, not this coming weekend, following weekend. So I expect we'll be particularly busy then with visitors. A bit more flesh there. Weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Adding a bit more, seems to add a little bit of colour. Could use raw sienna as well, just brighten the castle up. Tell you what I mean. Mm -hmm. It adds a little bit of a glow. Makes it look yeah. a bit more stone, stony. I'll take the watercolour pencils, the sketch pad, and might might get to have a go, but. Whether it'll reach you or not, I don't know, because the signal is pretty non-existent down there. You've got things going on while you're there? Or... Um, yeah, mostly people just come just for, because it's central right. to so many places. Right. Yeah. For going to Wayne or into Dorchester or Poole or Bournemouth or wherever. Yeah. Uh, but um, it's one Gordon, edge. Gordon usually puts a, um, a sort of like an amateur music weekend on. Oh, and right. that, that sort of spreads to a week usually. Where anybody on site that has, plays an instrument that brought it with them, they all get together with Gordon and they set up a little sort of stage area. And it, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so so we sit out and listen to the music. Depends what the weather's like, really. Mm. Sometimes we've been down there and it's been blowing a gale and tipping down with rain and awnings mm. have been bouncing everywhere. Other You'll times, be right. and it's been so hot that you you just rushing around trying to find some shade somewhere. You'll be all right this week. Yeah, I think next week is uh, heat waves yeah. supposed to be returning, isn't it? Well, oh, is it? Well, not not as uh, hot as it was, but uh, it's not going to be cold, is it? No. No. I guess it was more or less like this. I've packed everything from wellies to flip flops as usual. <laughs> you never know what it's going to be like. <laughs> when you're Brilliant. actually working, if people come in, it doesn't matter whether it's pouring with rain, you've still got to go out and sort them yeah. out, put them in, and get them to their pitch. So, um, yeah, but hopefully it will be just, just nice. Mm. Oops, that was my phone running out of battery. Mm. There you go, I've run out of, I'm quite pleased with, I'm quite pleased with it. Yeah, no, I've, got, I've got my usual. I can just see the car. I'll probably do a little bit on the car. On the, I don't know. The, this bit is, you can see it's drying out and it's mm. changed in the last 20, 30 minutes. And I can see, I can sense that it's going to dry further back and make mm. it push it back a bit. Maybe. Pretend I'm using acrylics and add a little bit of sandy, fleshy colour to those tops of there. It's the beauty of that flesh tone, that it is slightly opaque. I'm not saying it's acrylic, but it, it will have, you are it will afford you um, a few spots where you can just dab it in. 
just balance it up. Yeah, well done, Dave. I'm very chuffed for that. Yeah, I'm happy. Good. Yeah, what are they doing? No, no. Bloody marvellous. <laughs> no, as they say, oh, that's tidy, you know. <laughs> I still think if I can get away with it, I can still still drop in. Like I say, that flesh, I can still drop it, drop some in there. Use my fingers, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it better when it dries. Nah, just leave it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. A bit of tissue. I've got through some blooming tissues this morning there. Yeah. Well, if you're watching Lucy, there's your own work. <laughs> but I've kept it, try to keep it as simple as possible because too many colours spoil it. I've got something going on there. Um, you know what I mean? It's not going to use that many colours. Well, I don't these days. I have to let that dry. And then I'll just rub this a bit in there that's annoying me. But as per usual, you don't want to distress the paper too much. How many times have we done that? Gone like that and ooh, got a hole in my picture. Delilah, Delilah. <laughs> but it's right. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Cardiff Castle next week. What? <laughs> Oh, that's all right, then. You can see that yeah, the paper it is makes it gives you those sort of um, what's it? Yeah, I'll, I'll lay it flat. I'll lay it flat because it's the flatter. It looks a bit better that way. <laughs> Yes, it's got that nice. Or lunch or not? I lost track of time. I was enjoying my. Oh, it's not too bad. No. Mm. Don't complain about. Well, simple subjects like that. You shouldn't spend too much on mucking about. As I say. Okay. <laughs> when you when it dries, you can tweak and twist it. But I don't like using the hair dryer. I don't mind a little bit if it's specific areas, but it doesn't have to make a difference. Why not? Letting it dry naturally. Hmm. Well done. I'm happy. Getting the hang of it. Oh well. Well, good luck, everyone, with that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my excuse already. You've escaped. <laughs> I've got a fan brush. I'm trying to think what I could be doing next week. <laughs> You're having a, you got a fan brush, haven't you? Yeah, I've yeah. got a fan brush. Yeah, just do that. It ain't yeah. rocket science with a, with a fan brush. I don't think, no, you know. Have a go. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a, Looks nice at that size. Mm. <laughs> What's the famous thing in it? Oh, whoa, that's nice. Yeah, that's great from Bournemouth Pier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks all right to me. <laughs> well, we're all we're our, all our own best art critics, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got my little sketch pad. I've got some brushes. I've got watercolour pencils. Right. If I get time. Wait and see. Wait yeah. and see. Well, yeah. It wasn't one very long ago. You, you didn't have a car, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know. I'm so pleased. Some yeah, you just got there. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Carol's, well, Carol's cars up. all loaded up. Caravans all loaded up. All right. Just last minute things to do indoors, water all the plants, empty the bins, chuck bleach down the loose. 
Oh God! <laughs> you, wonder whether, you wonder if it's worth it at times, don't you? Trying to go away. <laughs> it's a lot of preparation, especially mm. especially when it's a bit more than just a holiday. You know, it's like a working yeah. holiday. Yeah. There's a lot more to take, a lot more to consider, and organise. Never mind. You'll enjoy it once you get there. Oh, <coughs> <definitely>. <coughs> And I'll enjoy, taking, I'll enjoy taking Leo for longer walks than I have been able to because obviously with little Ralph he could Oh, walk. yeah. Mm. There's some lovely walks around there. So yeah, that'd be lovely. My day's off, I'll um, mm. go for a walk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'll be lovely. good. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. there we go on that note. Yeah. Well, have a lovely time. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm going to look forward to... Um, Easter eggs. Oh, Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Easter egg, I thought I ain't got no chocolate. I looked like there's three Easter eggs out there. Oh, oh <laughs> gosh, have you eaten them all? <laughs> yeah, over the past two weeks, that's all chocolate. I got left is a cream egg. Oh. <laughs> Once you start oh. eating chocolate, it's fatal. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah. I don't like then you've it. then you've got a horrible taste in your mouth afterwards. Like, oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. No. We miss all your lovely cakes, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> you say what yeah. you're having. I know. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. Look, I. Yeah. You're eating it all. Eating well. all. <laughs> that's it. You're eating out. <laughs> He's eating <the> fight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh dear oh dear never that's mind that's true what i said about the chocolate cake mel put mixed up the chocolate like she had um broke up some chocolate milk chocolate and made a sort of chocolate filling for it mm. i didn't eat it for a day or so and then i kept, tried to cut a bit of, cut a piece of cake off and i thought that's stiff the knife wouldn't go through the bit i thought Oh, she's probably put dates in it. Sometimes she put a date in it, and that made it a bit stiffer. One time I got upstairs and started eating, I realised the chocolate filling had set back to chocolate. Oh, so yeah. The centre of the, the sponge oh, is a layer of quarter of an inch oh. solid chocolate. Oh, I bet it was nice, though. You're just, you're just teasing us now with yeah. chocolate cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, never I'll send, mind. I'll send you a photo later. Oh, oh look at him right. smug. <laughs> I think at one stage that's one of the subjects is a is a slice of cake. Oh, oh right. Well, that'd be okay. great. Be interesting. One of the bits of cake, yeah. And I've got um, reminds me, I've got the petunias to do as well. I, oh. They've photographed them. They're in the shade shadow area but they're all trying to look out for the sun like that. Oh, right. all right okay nice. yeah, yeah i think that'd be great yeah. lovely plants yeah. i'll definitely buy them again mm. they last and last and last yeah they get more you have to keep heading to heading yeah, dead heading. Yeah. Yeah. oh crikey as There's you say they've got that funny smell haven't they? well they don't get... that's why we've grown them because they 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 uh, flies don't like them. Oh right, okay. Yeah. James mm. hasn't whinged about flies since I put them all round his, uh, you know, the back where. He's yeah, still. well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've got two hanging baskets. One big one, just outside, round the corner from his door. There's dozens of them in there, and I put mm. this this um, terracotta tray with a load in. Nice. <laughs> table outside his door, and they're sort of. They're acting like guards. They're sort of <laughs> they move because it's not like a little alcove. Oh, that's right. Area, yeah. so they grow really well, though. Right, mm. right there. off for lunch then. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, no chocolate cake for us though. <laughs> no, you will let you put on the weight. We don't yeah. need it. We don't mind if you get a bit chubby. <laughs> I made the brook down a, a nice big gum mixed fruit cake for me oh. to take away. I'm sure mm. it's this one when I go caravanning. To oh, share that's with right. Lovely. To the gang. So, yeah. Does everybody, bring, does everybody make cakes and bring? No. no. It's, only, it's only Brenda. 
Oh. My, my neighbour she just loves baking. She always bakes a cake right. for me to take. So look right. forward to it. Yeah. But, tomorrow morning, but tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'll have horses in one field, sheep in another, and cows. There you are, you control that. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surrounded by livestock. Yeah. It's it's, it's, there's a big there's sort of hills that go up away from the site. And um, it's lovely when they bring the horses down to the out of the paddock in the down to the paddock, I should say, in the morning, and they all right. gallop into the fence. It's lovely. It's lovely to watch yeah. them. Yeah. And hear yeah. them all along. Yeah. Anyway, lovely. I will say goodbye. Yeah. Have, have, a lovely time. have a lovely time. Thank you very and, much. Uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Oh, well, please. probably be about three, will it? Well. You're yeah. Two. Maybe yeah. Two, two Tuesdays. Two. Away, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay then. Okay. Right. Good time. All right. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. 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 B